Hello and welcome back to the County of Portsdale. My name is Badger the British and on this episode we are going to be dealing with public transport in this area and bringing it across because we don't have any in this area at the moment. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go, as cool kid would say. All right, so first of all, let's have a look at our transport, see what we've got around the place. And we have tram infrastructure. We put that in. And, hmm. So we're going to bring a train station in off to the left, because as you can see, we've got a train station here. So they're, they're, but they're having to track all the way over to get over here. So I think if we had one here, it would really help on the west side of the city bring in people who want to just come to this part and people who want to come to this part get out easily and also when we expand into oil mining around here we'll easily be able to bring in like workers from far and away from all around Portsydale basically so that's going to be the train structure obviously we're going to bring the subway system over the subway system the underground as we call it we're going to bring the underground system all the way across here so we've got these two strands so we've got one and we've got two so maybe we could do a loop that'd be quite cool bringing in a loop here so therefore the people have like a fast way of getting around the city and yeah obviously you have a tram that also kind of does the same line but it does more stops so therefore you know if you need to get to one of the metro stations you could easily get on the tram and go for it. And obviously bring in the buses and things like that. Uh, maybe even a cable car, because they're quite cool and niche thing to bring people down to the, the harbour area here. So let's go ahead and start on our trains. Let's bring, let's bring in the big guns first. So just going to make sure that this is kind of levelled out you don't really want a wonky train station so here we go this looks like a good good height if we just start patting that down and then we're gonna have to try and smooth that bit out oh actually if we could yeah and obviously we need to choose a train station that will allow the trains to run through it that we haven't cho chosen already. Now, which one of these do we have up here? We have that fancy one. Okay, so we're going to have the not so fancy one down here. And then we're going to want to spin that around so it's in the opposite corner. So let's go, let's do this. Oh, wait, we've got to think about the, the noise level as well. Can we. No, it's people of Alexandria slash Horseville. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure they'll they'll be okay with it. Maybe. Yeah, if we made it bend a little bit more, we'd capture less houses here. So let's go for that. try and really think of our residents here I'm also experimenting with the radio stations so if you like the music of this radio station then let me know if not we can always change it if you put your favorite radio station in the comments below I can change it oh no look we're gonna capture okay don't think we can do this without harming someone. Someone's got to give somewhere. In the name of progress, people have to suffer. No, um, <laughs> that sounded very bad. Yeah, let's use the curve tool here. a bit mm, 
I think this is going to be an ore town, so we could easily get away with having a... What if we put the brush size up? There we go. There we go, that looks better. Then we're going to go to there, and then we're going to use the curve tool again. Boom. Wonderful, that's now in. So this will allow the faster trains to speed through and will also allow trains to stop. So that won't cause any congestion or traffic, which is the beauty of that pack. Just do a little presentation work here. Lovely stuff. Okay, we also should connect that up to the other side. I wonder if we can just slip this under. That looks quite cool, actually. Oh, yes, please. Done. Um, hmm. I don't think there'll be that much traffic coming out of it, to be fair. Sorry, my friend. I will give you a free house. How about that? Right, let's start time again. So we've plugged it in both ways. The trains are coping with the new train. Look at that. It just sped on through there. That's exactly what we wanted. And beautiful. Right, so now we've got to have a train. We'll come back once that's settled in. All right, realises. Oh look, someone's using our, our new roadway. Yeah, I feel there's already enough traffic up here that it doesn't need to be to be bothered. If we connected it down here, then they've also got the option of just sliding in whichever way they need to go. This is a very good interchange. Thank you very much, Andy, for this. Very good interchange there. Okay, now big infrastructure products we got how much money we got six million in the bank nice we can do whatever we like okay is there any cool undergroundy metros oh sorry the adverts coming on okay so <laughs> i have not heard those radio adverts in such a long time because when i record these i record it without the background music and then add the radio station in on afterwards so yeah, it's nice and refreshing to actually hear the uh, the radio, the adverts again. Uh, it looks like we're just going to go for a generic undergroundy one here, because that way that will connect up into the loop, and we're going to have down here. And let's see what ones we can get away with down here. I don't really want to disturb the population too much, and like we're not going to be known for our metro system. So, so obviously we want people to like change the like their mode of transport. So obviously we want people to change their mode of transport, and so there before we're gonna have like transport hubs here. Like this is gonna be a mini transport hub. Oh, if we can get it there, beautiful. That's not disturbing any buildings or anything. Oh, also it does create a bit of noise, doesn't it? So. And these ones in the pack, they're good, but they take up a lot of room, number one. And number two, you have to put them over the road. So they kind of fail for when you're trying to like squeeze a small little something in. And obviously that one's there. So yeah, we will just stick with the classic Metro system. And we're going to make it a little bit different. Oh no, that one's pointing. So that one's pointing off. So we are going to have that there. Because obviously it has to be a tad different. Otherwise, you're not really serving all the people. Oh, we can have two sliders for it. 
just deciding where to put it, where would it serve most people the best and hide from the noise is probably your main concerns. So that's going to link like that up to there. So obviously we want one somewhere around here just to capture these people. If we could I wonder if we could if we could cheat, can we cheat? can't cheat we can't even cheat it okay no we can't get away with that that would have been sick but no here we go we got to get rid of that and we're gonna bring in another one don't worry you got six million pound And then we're going to have a special line that comes off this one and goes up to our train station up here. Wonderful. Well, that bit's a bit horrid. People want nice, smooth journeys, generally. And then we're going to connect this one. Oh, this one's not even connected to this section. That's interesting. Okay. Right, so we want this one coming all the way to here. And then we're going to spill out this line. There we go. Okay, my thinking is it doesn't need to go all the way around here because someone who's at this station can just get off and get to that station up there. So we'll pull into here just to allow people to get to this train line. That'll be specially set up and running to move people back and forth to the train station up here. Now we've done that, let's work our way down the ladder. So we've got trains in, the metro's in, trams are next. Wonderful. We've already got the tram set up, the actual road network, so that's brilliant. Let's have a look. Do we have a spare one of these? Can we... Oh, that would be sick if you could go on the other side as well. Uh, let's move that one up. If I can. Nope, it's going to stay there. Okay. We're going to put it on that side then. And then we just want this one to stop every so often. Or do we, do we have it stop there? Hmm. Oh, these are choices. This is cho oh, choices, choices, choices. Okay, so we are going to have to put in a tram line here. Now, do we connect it up? There's lots, they're all full. All three of them are full, and I don't really want to touch this area. It doesn't look like anyone's using this road. So we could... There are three tram stops down here as well, so... Put that one in for now. And this one's just going to do a circle. There you go. And you can see people are already upgrading with all these extra uh, tram services coming in. And we're going to do the opposite way now. And let's put, so we've got one that goes around in a loop. So let's put a cross town one in. So if someone's coming in from the south terminal here, they can get all the way over here via tram. 
So this is going to be kind of a more speedier tram. That stops at far fewer stations. Ooh, yep. So we're just going to do the three, I think. Wait, hold on. There's enough room there, come on. Alright, fine. They can share. Share a platform, surely. Would be funny if someone got the wrong train. Wrong tram, even. And back. So yes, we've got one going down the middle. Perfect. And I think we're going to keep... Yeah, we'll keep that one open, just so we can use that spare line to somewhere else better. Now, let's go down. We haven't got any electric buses, so let's put in good old-fashioned bus routes in here. So, obviously, we're going to want to bring up the buses to this area. Now, we're going to need to bring in a bus turning roundy point. And yes, that's the official name, bus turning roundy points. And what I'd like to do is to come out a little bit, come across, and then back on. And if we can make that look a little bit more natural, that would be lovely. So that it follows this kind of generic curve. There we go, that's one. And just want that to follow the road there. And that is pretty much perfect. Yep, I like that. So we're going to bring in the bus. Oh, so they can turn around in that section, but they can't... Okay. Let's put on a bus stop. Now, what buses do is they go into the suburbs like this, and they're going to pick up all these people and take them to the nearest, like, uh, well, near like a tram or a metro or something like that. So everyone can get around and they're much easier to get a bus into a suburb than put a whole metro system in there. I mean, that'd be a palaver. So this is basically going to skirt around and be near and drop people off near to where they need to go. I wonder if it's better to have two buses. One that does the north side, one that does the south side. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, let's just put it in, and then we're going to have a public transport review. Oh, there's no bus for tourist town either. <gasps> okay, right, okay, right. No bus for tourist town, so this is going to be the tourist town bus. Can we get a bus in there? No, we cannot. Look, and more buildings upgrading, because they can all get around now. And <laughs> it's no lawnmower simulator, though. <laughs> uh, right, hold on. Let's let's actually expand this. So this is going to be a point-to-point, -point, basically. There we go. We're going to go from here, just outside Football Stadium Park. So that kind of also brings people in to this area as well. Hmm. Interesting. Why not? While we're at it, let's let it stop here because then it covers that area as well. Okay, so we've got a bus line that's come in and it stopped doing the old market. Why has it stopped doing the old market? Shouldn't be doing that. Right. There you go. Unfortunately, we're point to point. We're going to have to pull that back to... We'll see how that goes. It might be kind of dodge, but we'll see how that works out. And right, now we need another one. And now this point to point 
it's going to do the top half this basically this big old bit here I'm going to stop here so people can grab the bus from the suburbs there you go we'll put it kind of on the same route to begin with you got to make sure with these bus routes that they stop at key points like hospitals churchyards and schools and things because those are the most imp like things that people go to and obviously people's places of work that's also another big a uh, bonus yeah we don't need two along there come on and let's make much more use of that also let's grab these guys just so they feel more included So we're going to need to find some way of turning this around. If only there was like, I don't know, a roundabout. Let's make it go over the bridge as well. Let's have some fun with this, putting in our design. Let's have it go around here. I don't want the buses to cross, though. I want them to be close, but not to cross. So there we go. We've got a bus that comes around here. And down we go. It does look like it's only being served by one bit of the city, though. Oh, controversial. Oh, I know, yeah, if we make it come up here. And now back down. Now we've got a clockwise and anti-clockwise bus for the main bit of the sea here. We've already made it stop at the bus stop, so, or do we... Yeah, come on, let's make it go back in there. And feed it back. I'm liking this. And there we go. Perfect. I was kind of hoping for more increase in citizens. So these are all leveling up. They did look like tenements uh, a couple of, at the beginning of the episode. And now they're looking like proper good buildings. And the thing is, when you've got le more leveled up buildings, they generate more revenue and more income. And just a much more better time, even though we're losing like a thousand pound right now. Which is kind of weird. Oh, and uh, let's do a little bonus thing, which is we are going to put in a cable car, won't we? That's one thing we said we were going to do at the beginning of the episode really unnecessary cable car oh what does that look like oh we need to move that up a little bit nah, so here we go we're going to put a cable car here just along here and we're going to put a road that leads off it it's going to have its own little road because they're always like a little bit far away this is so unnecessary, it is ridiculous, but great for our creativity. There we go. I'm going to put in... Okay, we should probably start it from the bottom, really. There we go. That is a sharp incline at the top there. But it is working. And there we go. I think that's going to end the episode there because we've got lots of it. Actually, we should really bring in the people here. Like, what what's going on down here? Why well, we've got a little fishing village here, so why not just expand that a little bit more? You know, let's bring in. The harbour bus as well. We're going to put a harbour bus down here. This is what I mean about buses. They're easy to put in and they will go out and grab people from 
all walks of life and everything. So this one's going to be the harbour bus. It's going to come round. Right, so the harbour bus is going to start up here. It's going to be a little point to point. It's going to come down. And it's going to come around. It's going to stop by the cable car so people can come straight up. And it's also going to make its way into Taurus Town. Which is also another good point. Taurus Town has not got much public transport. And then at the Blackpool Tower here, we're going to turn back on ourselves. And we're going to come back. And you, oh, you just saw a ping of an upgrade there. Because they're now all connected into our system. This just breeds a bit of life into that area as well. And then they can come up here, connect to this, and then go out into the wider world. Or they can come up into the here and grab the tram. No biggie. Wonderful. Could we do a ferry service? No, because it's not really much point. No, it's already congested enough. No, no, let's uh, let's leave it there. Maybe, oh, maybe a balloon service? <gasps> Postal service? We've absolutely abandoned that one, haven't we? <gasps> Look at that. Oh dear, 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 how's this happened? Is it just, what if we increase the budget? Because I don't think we need, let's post these, post these 100%. Let's put that up to 150. See how that does. And that will do it for today, guys. We have successfully put in a new train station over here. We still need to jazz that up and make it look a bit more au naturel. Oh, we actually haven't plumbed it in, have we? Duh. Okay, let's plumb in our train station. Now, which line do we want? We want the one with the many stops. can't remember which one that is. Hold on, if we grab this line, because we know that stops at that station, if we pull that one over, that should be good. And then, oh, I'm fighting the, the advert lady. Okay, and um, we'll grab the other one. And boom. Now many more people connected to it. So oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Did it just go backwards? I was going to say, what, where did that other one... I'm not going to question. Obviously the fat controller had an issue with it. Awesome, wonderful, that's perfect, it's in. People are now turning up and rocking out and in. And there we go. And that will do for today's episode. So we have managed to bring in a successful public transport system with trains coming in up here, which will feed down via the subway system. And look, there's loads of people turning up. Loads and loads and loads of people turning up just to use this and walk under the bridge. Where are these? That's got to be investigated. Okay, I guess that's... We're going to have to have a look at that. Uh, so we've got the train system in here. The metro system has come in. And we have brought in the trams which bring people all around the, the city here. And the metro brings people very fastly and connects them all to the rest of the city, which is good. This is really shaping up, and I feel like we need a little bit of expansion along here, because this is just looking too vanilla and plain. Need some ideas for that section. And also we brought in buses along the harbour area here, which has helped increase and boost the population here and given them an upgrade. 
And yeah, we brought it into Taurus Town as well. And we brought it into the yield section of the city, which is wonderful. And that will do for today. We're going to have a look at our public transport, do a proper review of it next time. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, guys, and stay safe out there. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that and remember to like, subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode. Oh, we've still got some seconds. Why not give me some feedback in the comments below, it would be greatly appreciated. And bonus, you can find me on your favourite social media platform, links are in the description below. Until next time, have a lovely day.